All right, in uh, this video, I'm going to be looking at simplifying expressions that have E, our natural base involved. So we're going to simplify the following expressions. So you're going to see, if you're very strong with uh, simplifying your exponents and all that, these problems aren't too bad, but maybe we need a refresher. So this first expression, I have 3e e to the 4th divided by 18e e to the 6th. The way I kind of break it down is I have the numbers 3 and 18, and then I have two variables, or, you know, e to the 4th and e to the 6th. So I'm going to focus on 3 over 18 first. So again, that is 3 over 18. To simplify that, that's just like simplifying any other fraction. We look for what number can we divide both the top and bottom. Well, the top can be divided by 3, the bottom can be divided by 3, so we get 1 over 6 when we reduce that fraction. After I deal with the numbers, I'm going to focus in on e. So I have e to the 4th, I'm going to do this up here, e to the 4th divided by e to the 6th. Now, some of us might forget the shortcut come test or quiz time. When you're not sure, or when in doubt, write it out. So if you have e to the 4th, that's the same as e times e times e times e. Four of them. On bottom, e to the 6th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now what we can do is we can cancel out like terms, because e divided by e, when you divide common terms like that, that's 1, so they're gone. So this, that gone. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So when I divide out as much as I can, all I'm left with knows there's no more e's left on top, but I have e times e on bottom. e times e is e squared, but look, again, that's on the bottom. So what I'm going to get is an e squared on bottom. So your answer there is 1 divided by 6e squared. Could do the exact same process of this one here. Again, focus on the numbers first. So 16 over 4. Well, that is just, we're going to leave it as a fraction for now. 4 over 1. Both of them can be divided by 4. So the shortcut you can do is up here, notice I had 4 and 6. The bigger is 6 down there. If I take away 4 from both, I have 2 left over down here. So 6 minus 4, you get 2 down there. Same thing here. If I have 3 e's up top, e to the third, and e squared on bottom, so I take 2 away from the bottom, 2 away from the top, I'm left with an e on top. If you're not really sure how I did that that quickly, you can write it out if you would like. Write out three e's on top, two on bottom, cancel two on top, you have one left. So I have 4e divided by 1, which that's the same as 4e. Either of those two answers would be acceptable. The next one, so this is another exponent property. So I have 2e squared raised to the third power. When I do this, when you have exponents on the inside and exponents outside with parentheses, I want to make sure I know all the exponents on the inside. So this e is raised to the second power. One thing I do is this 2, I'm going to figure out what exponent that's raised to. So it's not written there, but that is actually 2 to the first power. We just normally don't write the 1. Now what we do when we have exponents inside raised to an exponent on the outside of parentheses, to cross through that parentheses, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply. So this 3 is going to be multiplied by that 1. So this exponent is going to apply to all exponents on the inside. So 3 times 1 is 3. So we're going to have 2 to the third power. But this exponent also needs to go to this other exponent here. So e squared, 2 times 3, since we're going through parentheses, multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. Now we can clean this up a little bit. So I have 2 to the third, e to the sixth. 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So we get 8e to the sixth on the inside. I'm going to do the exact same process over here. So I have exponents on the inside and the outside of this parentheses. I know this is e raised to the 2x. This is going to be 3 raised to the first power, because if you think of the first power, we get the original. Again, when we want to go through parentheses, multiply. So 4 times 1 is 4, so we're going to have 3 to the 4th power. Then we're going to take this 4 and multiply it by this 2x here. 4 times 2x is 8x. So what we have there is 3 to the 4th, e to the 8x. 
Uh, you can clean this up a little bit more. We could figure out 3 to the 4th power. You could either do that in your head or do it with a calculator. 3 to the 4th power is 81. And e to the x we're going to leave alone. So that would be our answer. And that is simplifying expressions with e. Notice how nothing really changes whenever we're simplifying exponents earlier, except the only difference now is instead of x, y, or z, we're dealing with e.